Did you know that half of the plastic packaging is only used once then thrown away? Plastic can take a couple of centuries to decompose, and with its increased presence in our environment, the task of cutting down on plastic has become vital for our future. So one of the best solutions might be to eat it? It's Lexi Alford here with Google Arts and Culture for another episode of Odd One Out. It's important to ask how we got to this point. Yeah, to the need for engineering edible packaging. Well, plastic, as we know it, is a relatively recent invention in history being only a century old. Its mass production and development accelerated after World War II when factories changed their production from military goods to consumer goods. A new, unsatisfied society was emerging, and with it a need for innovation, productivity, and status. This insatiable demand for new commodities created a consumerist culture on the lookout for the next big thing. Thus, plastic became the perfect material to bring our wildest dreams to life, since it was inexpensive because it came from fossil fuels and it was easy to mold into any shape. And although people were hesitant to use plastic at first because of their previous experiences with cheap wartime materials, they slowly saw its potential. Since then, we've revolutionized the way we interact with plastic today, to the point where we can't imagine our lives without it. But with great demand comes great responsibility. The convenience of plastics and the throwaway culture developed around them is taking a toll on our planet. In 2019, 40% of plastic production came from single-use items, and it's expected that plastic pollution will double by 2030. That's just around the corner. As crazy as it might seem, eating away our packaging can be one way to fight this pressing environmental issue. But hey, wait a minute, don't get me wrong here. I'm not talking about fossil-fueled plastic packaging, as those are harmful to your health, but of lab-engineered, edible, and biodegradable quote-unquote packaging. And I say this because they really aren't plastics, but more on that later. The thing is that teams of designers, engineers, chemists, and entrepreneurs are now coming together with this revolutionizing idea to tackle single-use plastic pollution. But an important part of sustainable materials is their design and how much they can resemble plastic. Like it's the case with Chipsboard, a company that has developed a way to transform potato waste into a bioplastic that is both easy to dispose of and more durable. I mean, look at those sunglasses. There's no way of telling they are made of potatoes. So, if I showed you the packaging for a few different common products, would you be able to point out which one is edible? Because today, we are going to challenge your brain with a fun game of Odd One Out. Are you ready? Okay, here are four pictures of different packaging. A sachet of ketchup, a plastic water bottle, a wrapped hamburger and fries, or a packaged spice fruit cereal. Which one of these packagings is edible? Look closely at the pictures. Notice anything different? Its size or texture? I'll give you some time to think, but hurry because time is running out. Time's up. Did you guess correctly? The answer is option number one, sachet of ketchup. Believe it or not, this little package of ketchup can be consumed in its entirety thanks to Notpla's groundbreaking technology. Also, short for Not Plastic, the company uses brown seaweed, one of nature's most renewable resources, to make these edible capsules. The amazing thing about using seaweed as a plastic-like alternative is that it biodegrades naturally in just four to six days, doesn't produce micro plastics, can be composted, and doesn't contaminate recycling, like its unsustainable counterpart. Also, brown seaweed contributes to a healthy ocean environment since it can grow up to 60 meters tall. Thus, it doesn't compete with food crops for land and creates underwater forests that actively contribute to deacidifying our oceans. 
Okay, now on to other options. Up first, we have the typical bottle made out of plastic. It's definitely not edible. Plastic bottles take 420 years to degrade compared to the few days it takes for seaweed. As a result, when it winds up in landfills, it releases harmful chemicals that contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. Next, we have a hamburger and fries. Food replica. Yeah, you heard me. Not only the wrapping is made out of PVC plastic, but the hamburger and fries themselves are made out of it too. These are part of a long-standing Japanese tradition where artisans replace dishes to provide visual information of a restaurant's menu. And finally, we have a spiced fruit cereal, part of the daily diet of astronauts when they're in space. Although what's inside is completely edible, the packaging that surround it isn't. Mostly made out of plastic, the containers are usually disposable and stored in commercial supply vehicles that, when trashed out, it either reaches Earth or it burns up when re-entering its atmosphere. Edible packaging is only one part of the solution that is to eradicate plastic pollution. They offer a better alternative to the mass production of fossil fuel made materials. However, real change can come by eliminating our plastic consumption as much as possible, reusing already owned plastics, and finally manufacturing sustainable alternatives wherever plastic is still required. So next time you plan to get groceries, consider changing your bags to a more bio-friendly alternative. Our planet will thank you for it.